Ilyath Gruner lived for many years in the eastern suburbs of Sydney and had brought a house overlooking Tamarama at 12 Ashley Street, Waverley, and next door to Julian Ashton. During this time, he painted a harbour scene uh, from the property of lawyer John Lane Mullins called Killerton, and in a second version added two children levitating above the lawn. In response to the second version, uh, the writer Dora Wilcox Moore speculated that the two children bore a likeness to a young Brian Cannell, a friend of Gruner's and a talented dancer, although someone who Julian Ashton's wife described as uh, that dancer, he was not a good fit, and a chap called Jack Leckie, who lived with Gruner in the last years. Many others insisted that the two boys symbolised Gruner's so-called illegitimate son to a woman called Peter. After Gruner died from alcoholism, Wilcox Moore um, wrote of her friend, I am haunted by the spirit of Gruner, painter of quiet things, and the other ghosts who populated his less than peaceful slumbers. Norman Lindsay said of Gruner, it is futile trying to define that blackness of depression, which is the nemesis of all highly sensitized visions in creative art. I think he was only at ease when alone with nature, as the exquisite quality of his landscapes attest.